Chapter 6, Mishnah 3. The previous Mishnah discussed how much inferior wine a buyer must accept when he buys wine to be used a bit of the time for cooking. This Mishnah discusses what happens if the wine was checked and found to be fresh at the time of the sale, but it spoiled later, after the buyer took it home. If someone sells wine to his fellow and it turned into vinegar after he brought it home, the seller is not responsible to pay for it, even if the buyer had specified that he was planning on using the wine slowly for cooking. <clears throat> Since the buyer poured the wine into his own jugs when he bought it, the seller can say that impurities in the buyer's jugs cause the wine to spoil. But if it is known that the seller's wine never keeps well and always turns into vinegar when it is not consumed right away, then if the wine spoils, this is considered a mistaken sale, and the seller must refund the money. Since the seller knows that his wine never keeps well, he should have told the buyer that his wine was not suitable for using as cooking wine because he did not tell him the sale is, the sale is void. In some cases, the seller is required to guarantee that his wine will remain fresh and drinkable for a longer time. But if the seller said to him, I am selling you superior flavorful wine, which does not spoil as quickly, he must provide wine that will keep until Shavuos. The final two cases of the Mishnah discuss the sale of vintage wine. And if the seller said, I am selling you old wine, he must provide wine that is from last year, that is, wine that was produced during the previous season, which is already over a year old, and the wine must remain fresh until the end of the present season. And if the sale was of aged wine, he must provide wine, provide wine from two seasons ago, which will be three years old by the end of the present season.